during the pandemic, it was very quiet and I walked every day on the woodland trails. I didn't walk as much on the paved trails. I usually went through the woods on the woodland trails, never saw a soul, never had a problem. But now I would be hesitant to do so. Especially after hearing about the attack on a 72-year-old woman taking her daily walk in Lincoln Park. The police report says 46-year-old Charles Avon Taylor approached her from behind, showed her gun, and said, I'll kill you. He then allegedly dragged her off the trail to his encampment and sexually assaulted her. The woman managed to escape and get help on Franklin Town Road. Bridget McCusker knows the victim. She's doing okay. Um, she's very glad to be home. An avid walker, McCusker says, since the attack, she's changed the way she uses the park. I'm not walking in the park these days by myself um, because I'm, I'm, I don't feel safe. Residents say there isn't adequate lighting or markers on the trail and no emergency boxes for people to call for help. The people we spoke to want more security. So we're talking about protection in this park. This is a 1,000 acre park. How do you have a park like that in Baltimore City and you have no police patrol? Baltimore police say they regularly patrol the park, including on foot. Those patrols increased after the attack. There is trash in the park. I mean, it's just, it just looks like, you know, there have been some shootings in the park. It just has all the things that you need to go there and think that, well, I can do anything I want to do here. Now, tonight the meeting begins at 6 o'clock. The major from the Northwestern District will be here, as well as Parks and Rec uh, officials, so that they can answer questions and hear the residents' complaints. Reporting live, Lisa Robinson, WBAL-TV 11 News.